Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's class. Um, this week's going to be a little bit different, so we're going to be painting a kingfisher, um, but we're going to do it, you can do it like two ways. So you can go and grab a spoon and basically treat, treat it as a paint knife, it pretty much works the same. So all these little marks are made from a spoon, the back, the backside of a spoon um, but then you can also just do it with you know just a brush that is is pretty much the same like it doesn't doesn't really matter you can use either um, but yeah this week for me I did a art battle which is like speed painting doing paintings in 20 minutes um, got into the got voted into the final and made quite a lot of money in the auction but uh didn't win it so a bit gutted about that bit but is what it is um also i am looking for a volunteer um to run the art classes from next week uh for the next few weeks because um yeah if there's no one on your side then art classes can't really go on so it's pretty much like setting up pressing pause and play and also taking everything down so yeah if you're interested in doing that then just have a chat with Ricarda at the end or message me on Instagram so yeah so I'm just going to show you what I mean about using a spoon so you're going to be using the back side of a spoon and you can just sort of dip it in the paint See, like that, and then you can just sort of press down and you can create these really nice little marks, you know, and then you could you do the same with the, um, with the body, you know, just nice little scoops. See that? So yeah, if you want to grab, uh, go and grab a spoon, you can do. For this painting, you will need white, black, yellow, orange, red, light blue, dark blue and turquoise. And if you also want to pause the video now and go grab some spoons, do that as well. Um, or you can just use your brushes. Okay, so pause here if you want to get spoons. Next, we're going to be drawing just the basic outline of the bird. So the head, the back, the tail, the tummy, and that really long pointed beak. So you can either use a pencil to do this, or you can, um, use some paint with your smallest brush and just do it the same color as the background which i'm going to do it as the background turquoise so we'll take a pause here next we're going to be doing the background so i am using some yellow green and turquoise and i'm mixing that with lots of white and making like a really nice pale background um you can do your background wherever you want it to be um you know and at the end you can add some more to the background but yeah um we'll take a little pause here for you guys just put that block color of the background in First, we're just going to grab some white and put it around along the beak line and in the middle of the bird's chest and we'll pause there. Step two, we're going to go in with yellow and put yellow on the chest and on just above the white there and we'll pause. Next, we're going to grab our orange and put it just above that 
beak line and a bit on the chest um, and we will pause here. Next we're going to go in with our red and we're going to put that at the bottom of the bird um, and next we're going to go we'll in with our that. turquoise and we're going to put the turquoise on the head and that light turquoise just on the wing and we're going to layer up with a couple of different shades of blue and we'll pause here. Next we'll go in with our darkest blue or you can mix blue with black and we're just going to put some nice little dark highlights in on that wing and also going along the eye line so yeah and then we're also going to go in with our brush and make some nice little spikes on the back and the back of the head and we'll pause here. Something that I did for the background was I went in with a spoon um, or your finger, whatever, and you just grab some greens and some blues and you just whack a couple of abstract marks onto the background. I find that looks quite nice. Um, but yeah, I'll pause here, there. Just make sure that there is some white still showing on the middle of the bird and you can also go in with more layers of blue and add that in, really build the depth. Um, and then the next thing we're going to be doing is mixing some white and black together and we are going to be filling in the beak with a grey and we will also make a nice little grey eye and we'll pause it. Next we will go in with black and just do a little pupil and add some more definition into that beak. And then we can also go in with our white and add a bit of white highlight on the eye and also on the beak there. And we'll pause here. Next we're going to go in with some brown and we're going to create the branch there. And then we'll go in with our smallest brush and add the little feet. And we'll pause here. I always go on about layers and stuff, about how that makes things look more real. So you can pretty much go back in and add more yellows, oranges, blues, add more white, maybe even add some white to the background. Just keep on building up those layers and also make sure that the back of the neck is nice and spiky you can go in with some black and redefine the eye and the beak there maybe go over the feet again you know keep on adding that nice detail and also make sure you do have the white in the eye um, and now you can just sort of you know crack on with doing adding more to the background if you've decided to do a more complicated background um, so yeah, also once you finish, please do take a group photo. Okay, and we'll pause here. Okay, congratulations everyone. I hope you had fun painting this Kingfisher. Um, please do take a group photo. I love to see the photos. Um, and yeah, remember about the volunteering, that could be really good. Um, yeah, just let us know. And yeah, maybe see you next week, maybe see you in a couple weeks. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, ciao everyone.